Hello everyone, I hope you're all enjoying your weekend. We've had a really rainy one here, so it's been great to be able to be indoors and make something pretty with bits from the garden. This is um, something I made with lots of the sticks that I pruned off my fruit trees, as well as other sticks too. Um, and I just thought it was a really fun, quite easy thing to do. This is my first one I ever made, so it's not perfect at all. It's quite rustic, you might say, a bit messy, but I really enjoyed doing it, so I thought I'd show you how I went about doing it. It just really brightens up a dull day. I've been doing lots and lots of pruning these past few weeks, and I need to trim all these cuttings so they can go through the shredder. But I've noticed that lots of them are really quite bendy, and they'll be perfect to use for some projects I want to do. So I'm just going to trim them right down and get all the bendy ones and bring them inside. So I've got my sticks all collected. This one is actually from a linden tree. It was at a National Trust place we were at. They were selling these for a pound a bundle. And I thought it'd be really lovely. They're really beautiful, bright red, and they're very nice and bendy. So that's gonna be really handy. Look at that, look how bendy they are. Perfect. And then the darker ones are apple tree cuttings. I was pruning my apple trees, my really old ones, and so they're full of really young, bendy ones too, which are also going to be very useful. I want to make an Easter basket that I can just plant up some beautiful Easter flowers in and just make it really look really quite festive and pretty. So first I'll take my sticks and I'll put two facing this way and then two others facing this way. I want really good strong ones but just check that they're bendy first. And just fasten them here at the end with some twine. I've done it twice for extra security and I'll just trim the bits at the ends as well. So I have them fastened at both ends, there. So now it's starting to look more like a basket because you just take it and tie a piece of twine from one end to the other. And then fan out the branches. And then the fun begins. You just sort of weave these twigs in between the other ones and just fill up the area there. So here is what I came up with. This is my spring basket made out of all of our sticks. I did lots of weaving and sort of a bit messy, but rustic. Um, it's almost like a bird's nest really down there. And so I'm hoping to plant lots of Easter flowers and lots of spring flowers. So we've got a few things together now. I've got my basket here and I've got some wonderful flowers. I've got this mossy saxifrage, this nice white one, beautiful, with little yellow centers, it's full of little flower buds. And then I have this one I absolutely love. It's a purple anemone. Beautiful. If you look at the little tag here, we can see it's called a blue windflower. Really gorgeous. Also known as anemone blanda. It's really lovely because once it's finished flowering, I'll just plant it out in a sort of shady position. I've got lots of shady spots in the garden and it will just keep coming back year after year. And the third flower I found was this gorgeous guy here. It's a larger anemone and it's, uh, it's called Harmony Double White. And that's a really pretty one. Again, it's another perennial that will come back again and again. It's got a few flower buds down there and it's just so beautiful. So what I want to do is get them planted into this basket. Looking at it, I'm not sure I can fit all three flowers, but I'll just try. I've got myself a little bit of, of hessian here. I'm going to somehow put it there to stop all the soil from seeping through the holes in my very holy basket. And then I'll get the flowers in there and we'll have a look. I also have a bucket full of moss from the garden super useful and that means I can just cover up anything once they're planted in there and you won't see all the dirt and it might just bring the whole look together I'm hoping so very useful let me just put over here and we'll get on with planting <laughs> It turned out a little bit differently than I expected. I didn't need the moss at all. I just actually fitted the hessian quite snugly around the plants, almost so they were in like a type of hessian sack, and then tied a bit of hessian string around it too. And then they're all sat in there, just looking gorgeous, I think. I think it's such a pretty spring. 
spring basket, Easter basket.